Now, one of the things you hear a lot of the quote unquote pundits say is that, oh, you can't get a Trump voter to switch to Biden after they've already made up their minds. And while that might be the case for the most part, that isn't always true. Sometimes meeting people where they're at and allowing them to understand that they're voting against their own interests can change their minds. While it's true that a large part of MAGA is trapped inside this alternate universe with alternative facts, some people are in fact willing to change their minds if you really drive home the message that, hey, if you vote for Trump, you're basically the same as a sheep for slaughter. He is coming for you. He is coming for your livelihood. And he is coming for everything you care about. Now, I've seen this done successfully a couple times. Adam Mockler and Midas Touch have done it well, and I encourage you to check them out. And I'm going to show you where we just had some of our union guys go into the field to do this over union issues. Now, it's no surprise to us that President Biden has been one of the most, if not the most, pro-union president in American history. He was the first president in history to stand on the picket line with the union in the middle of a strike where he stood with Sean Fain, the head of the UAW, during their contract negotiations with the big three auto workers. Here's what he had to say there. You heard me say it many times. Wall Street didn't build the country. The middle class built the country. Yeah. Yeah. Unions yeah. built the middle class. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. So let's keep going. You deserve what you've earned, and you've earned a hell of a lot more than you're getting paid now. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then here was President Biden at the State of the Union, where he actually brought Sean Fain, the head of the UAW. Sean, I was proud to be the first president to stand on the picket line. And today, Dawn has a good job in her hometown, providing stability for her family and pride and dignity as well. Showing once again, Wall Street didn't build America. They're not bad guys. They didn't build it, though. The middle class built the country, and unions built the middle class. I say to the American people, when America gets knocked down, we get back up. We keep going. That's America. That's you, the American people. It's because of you America's coming back. It's because of you our future is brighter. It's because of you that tonight we can proudly say the state of our union is strong and getting stronger. Now, what did Trump say about the UAW strike? He sided with management. The UAW got more than 25% in wage increases over a four and a half year period, a record union contract, and a record win for the middle class. And so Trump loves to claim he's for the working class. He loves to say that unions should vote for him because he's for working people. Well, here's what the former president had to say about right to work, which would essentially destroy every union if right to work laws were implemented. You gotta have right to work. You gotta have right to work. I like right to work. I mean, my position on right to work is 100%. They decided not to go union. And that's a great honor as far as I'm concerned. Right to work is literally a Chamber of Commerce backed corporate plot to destroy unions. Trump in office was no different than the Republican Party under Bush and Paul Ryan. They serve to protect corporations and corporate interests. And that means destroying unions. Now, we here at Really American do a ton of work with unions. You may have seen some of our shorts with Union Proud Warrior, which is a group of bricklayers and trade union members who are fighting for union issues, and they are partnered with us here at Really American. Now, they know that a lot of their union membership is voting for Trump. It's a bummer, but that is what it is. The question is, would they still be for Trump if they knew that he wanted to destroy unions and was for right to work? Well, we put that to the test. Tony Demi, who's one of the founders of Union Proud Warrior, based in Chicago, asked to talk to one of his union members about his support for Trump. And in that interview, we wanted to show him that clip of Trump talking about right to work. And he did. And here's how that went. Who did you vote for in 2016? Trump. And how about 2020? Trump. What do you like about Trump so much? Um, you know, like, I'm not real political, but he doesn't seem like a politician. I'm a working guy, you know, blue collar. So, like, I feel like he's fighting for us. Did you know he's for right to work? 
Get the fuck out of here. Well, you know what right to work is, right? Absolutely. I'm a union guy. Well, he's for it. Got to have right to work. I like right to work. I mean, my position on right to work is 100%. They decided not to go union. And that's a great honor as far as I'm concerned. Man. So let me see that again. Let me see that again. again? No problem. Got to have right to work. Got to have right to work. I like right to work. I mean, my position on right to work is 100%. They decided not to go union. And that's a great honor as far as I'm concerned. What do you think of that, man? Man, I don't know about that. I'm a union guy. It's, the union is the most important thing to me. It's my livelihood. It's, it's given me the opportunity to have my family and own the things that I do. Uh, after seeing his view, I'd have to say that it's changed. Uh, we have to vote for Biden this year. Now, look. Some people who are for Trump are going to be for Trump regardless of what you show them. But with others, particularly union folks, there should be real opportunity to switch votes here. This election in November will come down to thousands of votes in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. And those are union states. If we can get the message out about Trump's attacks on unions and his strong belief in right to work, we can change votes here. We're going to be continuing to do this. We're sending our union guys into the field to conduct these interviews and show that these people are persuadable and that we can make a real difference here. Now, what can you do to help? If you know someone who's in a union who may be a Trump supporter, show them Trump's own words on right to work. There is no need to explain to them what Trump is for. Just show them in his own words. Hang him with his own words, as they say. If you are in a union, you know that right to work is the end for you. You know that it means lower wages, worse health benefits, worse pension benefits, and less political power. The whole term right to work is a farce and something that was carefully crafted by Koch brother minded think tanks to make people think that it is something to do with your right to work. But everyone in a union knows exactly what it really means. They know what it means for their livelihoods and their families. So let's show them what the former president has said in his own words. Writing off anyone who may support Trump, especially union members, is a bad idea. We need to meet them where they're at and show them the former president in his own words, telling them very clearly, I'm coming for you and your livelihood. We're going to be doing a lot more of this over the next eight months and have a ton planned through the election. So do us a huge favor, like, subscribe, hit notifications, and share these videos. It's all hands on deck through November, and everyone is going to play a major role in winning this election. With Really American, I'm Justin Horowitz. Thanks. I'm a union guy. It's, the union is the most important thing to me. It's my livelihood. It's, it's given me the opportunity to have my family and own the things that I do. Uh, after seeing his view, I'd have to say that it's changed. We have to vote for Biden this year.